There are more warnings in the Bible about money than there is infidelity. There's more warnings in the Bible about money than there is about unfaithfulness. God said money's going to destroy you. It's a root of all evil. The rich young ruler came. He said, what should I do? God had a real novel answer. He said, be sure and give the church half. He said, no, go get rid of it all. You better listen to me. Our group right now thinks if you've got money, you've got success. You don't believe that. You just watch what we put on deacon boards. You've got money, we'll put you on. You read the Bible, that's not a requirement anywhere. But he's a success. The devil says, hey, right this way. <laughs> Let me just lay you out. Faith without works is stinking dead. When you're living on 10,000, you think, man, if I could only get 15, life would be great. When you get 15, you say, if I could only get 20, life would be great. When you get 20, you got to have 30. Because we keep raising what we do. There's never enough. And the devil knows that. You know what you need to do? You need to bow your knee tonight and apologize to God. You've been saying, God, bless me, bless me, bless me. And what you've really been saying is, give me more, give me more, give me more. How's your church doing? Terrific! The offerings are up! We got money! devil says, right this way. Let me, let me lay you. The Mormons got money. The Roman Catholics got money. Money is not success. It's the devil's lie. Number two, fame is not success. Fame. Man, we like it if somebody knows our name, don't we? Somebody knows who we are. The preacher says our name. Fame, just to be known. Something to put our picture on. Fame. Hey, you know what? Some guys got their picture at the post office. That's not success. You know what God says? Life is brief. And death's just around the corner. And you know what he says? Nobody going to remember you in the grave. There's been men who could not preach everybody in this room who nobody even remembers their name anymore. I can't believe as I go across America now, and for the first time, Brother Patterson, there's more people in the churches who've never heard of Brother Roloff. I mean, they come up to him and they say, Brother who? Was he a Catholic? You know what happens to fame? It just whoop, vanishes. Oh, I'm now at the age where I'm really impressed with how life moves along. Kids in their teens think they'll never be 50. Never. They think there's seven millenniums between them and age 50. You blink your eyes a couple times, you're in your 20s and life speeds up. Doesn't it? 
In your 20s, you blink your eyes once more. You're in your 30s, and it really speeds up. And I'll warn you, after that, you don't get to blink at all. Isn't that right? I mean, it's gone. Are you listening to me? Fame is not success. It's not money. It's not fame. Lie number three, success is power. Success is power. Man, how we love to tell people what to do. While I'm gone, you do this. Hey, you, go do that. Man, how we love to wield a little power. Why well, don't just call so-and-so and tell them to... Man, we like power, don't we? You know what God says? You're going to be judged for what you ever did with that power. That's why he said, strive not to be many what? Masters. He said, don't you be chasing it because there's a judgment coming for what you did in those people's lives. Well, that's not success. The Bible says God laughs at man's power. It says it's puny. But boy, how we chase it. It's not money. It's not fame. It's not power. Lie number four. The devil says that success is self-fulfillment. Well, I want to tell you, go to the Christian bookstore right now. The volumes line the walls with this lie. How to help you feel fulfilled. Can I warn you? There's a problem with self-fulfillment. God said self is supposed to be put to death, not fulfilled. And yet we work day and night to make it feel good. We all want some kind of religion where we hot tub it. One day you got to get out of the tub. Are you listening to me? As long as you keep chasing, making yourself feel good and chasing self-fulfillment, you'll never know anything but bad success. Money is bad success. Fame is bad success. Power is bad success. Self-fulfillment is bad success. Lie number five. The devil said success is the look. You say the what? the look. You say, I don't understand. Oh, I think you do. Kids. Kids. Gotta have hundred dollar tennis shoes. To be like Mike. The look. You say those stupid kids. You gotta have this shotgun with all the scrolling on it. Can I warn you? The $300 one don't shoot no straighter than the one from J.C. Penney. But it's got the look. You walk in a preacher's office and he says, look. 